I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on vectors. In this video, we will learn a technique to find angle bisectors. The question here is, find the equation of the bisector of angle ABC where the coordinates of A, B and C are A is minus 2, 7, B is 4, 1 and C is minus 3, 0. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now that basically means that we are given uh, something like this, one particular angle, right? Where the point A is given to us, B and C, right? And we need to find the equation of the line which bisects this particular angle. Bisects, as you know, means both the angles should be same. That is theta, right? That is the situation. So technically, we have cos of, let's take a point P here, right? So cos of angle PAB should be equal to cos of angle P, sorry, PB, PBA should be equal to cos of angle PBC, right? which is equal to cos of theta, right? Now, cos of these angles can be found using dot product. Correct? So what we can do here is that cos of angle PBA will be BP dot BA over magnitude of BP times magnitude of BA, right? That should be equal to uh, cosine of the other angle. That means uh, BP dot uh, BC over magnitude of BP times magnitude of BC, correct? Or we can further simplify cancelling these we get equation as BP dot BA over magnitude of BA should be equal to BP dot BC over magnitude of BC. Right. So I hope this derivation is absolutely clear. Well, we need to figure out what is uh, BP, BA and BC. Uh, clearly, we are given the points so we can find what is BP, what is BA and BC. So we are taking a point P whose coordinates are X and Y, right? So BA we can write as a vector BA will be minus 2 minus 4, uh, 7 minus 1, which is minus 6, 6, correct? Similarly, BC will be BC minus 3 minus 4, 0 minus 1, which gives us minus 4, right? So, which gives us minus 7 minus 1. And BP will be X minus 4, Y minus 1. Right, so we know all the vectors. Using this particular equation, we should be in a position to find the equation of the bisector of the angle, right? So I hope the concept is absolutely clear. You can now pause the video, answer, and then look into my suggestions. So, so B, P dot B A, that means we have X minus four, Y minus one dot, B A is minus 6, 6 over magnitude of B A, which is square root of minus 6 square plus 6 square, should be equal to B P dot B C, which is x minus 4, y minus 1 dot, B C is minus 7 minus 1 over square root of uh, minus 7 square plus minus 1 square, right? Okay, let's do the 
dot product. So we get here minus 6 times x minus 4 plus 6 times y minus 1 over that is 36 right and 36 2 times 36 or square root of 36 is 6 you can write this as 6 square root 2 should be equal to minus 7 times x minus 4 minus y minus 1 over this is square root of 49 plus 1 which is 50 right so 50 could be written as 5 square root 2 25 times 2 right okay now square root 2 square root 2 will cancel okay let's multiply this well 6 is a common factor 6 is a common factor so 6 can also be cancelled right 6 is a common factor okay so we are left with the minus x plus 4 here we have plus y minus 1 equals 2 let's expand this minus 7x plus 28 minus y plus 1 right divided by 5 so we'll cross multiply so we get 5 times we have minus x plus y minus 1 when you take away is plus 3 equals 2 minus 7x minus y plus 29 now let's bring them together we have minus 5x plus 5y plus 15 bringing this plus 7x plus y minus 29 equals to 0. Now minus 5x plus 7x gives you 2x plus 5y and y will give you 6y and the constant 29 is negative plus 15 will be minus of so 4 and 14 equals to 0 right well we can divide everything by 2 so we get x plus 3y minus 7 equals to 0 so that becomes the equation of our bisector of the given angle do you see that so that is how we could find the angle bisector perfect so i hope the steps are absolutely clear we did some shortcuts here but i think they are understandable 72 square root can be written as 2 times 36 square root of 36 is 6 50 square root is 25 times 2 square root of 25 is 5 then we cross multiply and got the answer so the idea here is to find angle bisector we could use a dot product so this is a huge application of dot product perfect feel free to write a comment share your views and if you re really like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for watching and all the best